is going on guys my name is Hazik and welcome back to another COD top 5 video. Now in this video I'm bringing you the top 5 worst power ups or drops in zombies history. But before we jump into it guys I just want to say that it's not that I hate these power ups it's not that they bad every power up is useful in its own way but sometimes the power up can be uh, kind of annoying and sometimes it, it can even get you down and ruin your game. So without further ado, let's get straight into the top 5. So coming in at number 5, we have the Zombie Blood from Origins. Now you can obtain this power up from zombies, from the Panzer Soldat, from the Graves. I mean you can even do a little easter egg with the Ice Staff to get it for free. but. You know, it, it is a useful perk, I mean, you, you stay 30 seconds without being noticed by the zombies, that's amazing. And it's also good for getting uh, more extra perks uh, for yourself, I mean, you, uh, you get these, you go into the zombie blood and then you go up to the red graves and you collect uh, bottles for free perks, that's amazing. But when you're playing co-op, and you pick it up accidentally and all the all the other zombies are gonna go for the teammates of yours and let's say your teammates don't have juggernaut they they just spawned in and you know the zombies are gonna kill them you know even though you're kind of helping the zombies don't the zombies I mean they're not attracted to you so you won't really do anything and you're pretty much screwing your teammate and also when you're playing a solo and you're getting to high rounds you accidentally pick up the zombie blood and you know you're just wasting 30 seconds of your life because zombies are not attracted to you they just go up into some stupid corner and just stand there for some reason I don't know why they do that guys but anyway zombie blood comes in at number five and coming in at number four we have death machine and just to be clear guys this is not the death machine from Black Ops 3 because the death machine in Black Ops 3 is quite useful. I mean, you're a lot more faster with it and you can even put it away when you want to. But I'm talking about the death machine from Black Ops 1. How annoying was that? I mean, you could not you could not do anything when you had the death machine, you had to waste all your ammo, you couldn't pick up a weapon from the mystery box because sometimes, I mean, you take the mystery, you, let's say you grab a mystery box, okay, then you see the death machine drop, you go and pick up the death machine drop, then you get the thunder gun from the mystery box and you don't, and you just can't pick up the thunder gun because you have your death machine on and you have to waste all of your ammo in order to pick up the thunder gun. I mean that's just so annoying and you don't get as many points I guess but you know sometimes it can be a life savior but most of the part it's just an annoying annoying uh, annoying thing to have and just I wouldn't even pick it up sometimes it's just it's just not helpful at all so anyways let's move down to the number three spot and coming in at number three we have fire sale now this is a very controversial power because you know sometimes it's really helpful it is really helpful you can get a wonder weapon for just 10 10 points that's that's freaking amazing and cheap you know everybody would like that but sometimes when one of your teammates picks up the fire sail and in the middle of the round you're going into some stupid place where the mystery box is located so the whole horde of zombies is behind you you pick up that mystery box you get downed because you're you're just surrounded by all the zombies and you get a freaking b23r or some some sort of a stupid pistol or a, like a launcher maybe a, i don't know guys it's just it's just so annoying you, this is not satisfying at all in my opinion you have to take the fire sale only when it's it's the end of the round that's that's it of course with the introduction of the gobble gums in black ops 3 it's a lot easier to control that because you have a gobble gum that can give you three free fire sales but this is not this is a whole different story guys the fire sales is annoying they are annoying but of course they're useful sometimes but guys fire sales are coming in at number three okay guys now we have the carpenter Oh my god, I mean, there's a lot to say about this power-up. It rebuilds barriers. And it also... Uh, it also... Uh, oh, it also gives you 200 points. 
Well, that's freaking amazing, isn't it? I mean, maybe when you're on transit and you're in the bus, maybe that that's the only time when it's useful. Maybe sometimes on 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 I don't know on lower rounds it's some somehow useful, but on the higher rounds, why would you ever need zombies to take longer to come out of the barriers? I mean, they have to I mean they have to break all the barriers in order to come out of the window. And that's just slowing the game down for a bit. I mean, it's it's slowing it down for a bit, but still, all that adds up and it's, I don't know, 10 minutes of wasted time, you know? It's really annoying. But of course, if you see a double points drop and a carpenter beside it, you can pick up both of those and it will give you 400 points, which is the same amount that Nuke gives you, but except it doesn't kill the zombies. But it just slows them down for a bit, guys. But that's it for the carpenter, I'm not gonna put any more hate on it, let's move down to the number one spot. And ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number one we have Blood Money from Origins. Okay Treyarch, that's a good one, that's a good one. 200 points at round 47, that's very useful you know. That is very very useful, I mean maybe maybe on round one or two that is kind of useful maybe when you have the double points you, you get instead of 250 you get 500 points that's good that's still good i mean any sort of like uh all i mean all the points are useful you know but on round 50 where you have like 300,000 points i mean they're just nothing they're they're useless that's just a waste of a power up i mean i would rather get a max ammo maybe or, or, or headshots or nuke at a high round just to speed up the game but no you're gonna give me blood money game seriously blood money and of course we're talking only about the digs or the graves from origins I mean you can get the blood money by killing the zombies but you can get them from the graves but you can also get like max ammo and nuke from the graves that's a lot more useful guys but anyways that has been it for this top 5 guys, I hope that you enjoyed, if you did, please make sure to leave a like, and thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next video, peace out.